So we're just in the process of starting a big planter project. We got in the shop here. I just spent the last two weeks cleaning out my shop to make room for the project. Um, as you can see, I got a 1760 John Deere planter in here uh, that uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, aftermarket stuff on it from Precision Planting. We've been running the V-Set Classics for a few years now. Uh, we got Hydraulic Downforce. Um, we also have HD Apply and Clean Sweep. So got a fair bit added onto this planter. It's probably worth more in aftermarket parts than the planter itself, but that's the way she goes. It's been a good planter up until then from a me mechanical standpoint. Uh, but we are actually in the process of tearing it all down because we are moving all the roll units off this planter um, onto a new planter frame. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, not that the planter wasn't performing as good as it should. Uh, it's been good to me. Uh, but we're trying to do some stuff different on the farm here uh, and consolidate a few trips across the field into one. And I'll explain that a little bit later. But as you can see, it's uh, just started to rip off the boxes, disconnect uh, wires from a wiring harness and pull some harnesses off that run uh, all the V-set stuff and talks to uh, the hardware that are on the row units here, or the electronics as you can see, lots of stuff going on. So uh, we will be pulling these row units off the planter frame. This planter frame uh, is gonna get reused um, the HD apply that I have uh, on here that's kind of mounted uh, we put on last year but I think what we're going to end up doing we might leave it on this toolbar uh, because a friend of mine and I are putting uh, Yetter strip fresheners on this toolbar uh, to freshen strips if we feel we need to or make strips uh, in some soybean stubble that didn't get stripped last fall uh, or even try it uh, on some corn stalks um, that I'm going to plant uh, edible beans into uh, this spring. So it's uh, going to be a bit of a project. Um, not really looking forward to having to tear everything apart and put it all back together, but that's the way it goes. But we're pretty excited uh, what we're going to have uh, as a final project product uh, at the end of the day uh, that I'm going to be using for this coming spring. So that's kind of the start of it I'm gonna have some videos or different part videos along the way just to show us our progress of, of tearing this apart and, and making it work uh, would love suggestions but my guess will be by the time this gets uploaded to YouTube um, I'll have a lot of it done so it will be noted for next time hopefully there isn't a next time but um, we're trying to keep everything organized here with the row units and uh, as you can see, we got the VSEC Classic meters, which uh, I do really like. They've been great meters, uh, consistent, been happy with them. Love the uh, ability to change population on the fly and uh, do different things that way. So we're going to be doing a bit more prescription planting, more so on seeding rate for edible beans than we are on corn. But uh, anyways, that's kind of the scoop. So. I'll show you what these are getting moved on to uh, briefly and uh, and you can see why I'm excited about uh, this spring. So this is the outfit that's going to be our planter for this spring. Um, it's an Alari cart from a company uh, in Quebec that makes it. They uh, I just got it today, picked it up, sorry about that. Picked it up today. They're a Quebec company here in Canada that make these. Uh, so basically what you have here is a system that blows fertilizer down, or meters and blows fertilizer down to the openers here. Uh, so it's 30 feet, uh, 12 rows. Uh, we got four hydraulic sections here so that uh, we can have a little bit of section control. So there's a little cylinders there that will shot off that section. Um, so we're using it for dry fertilizer to do a two by two band uh, when we plant corn. And we're also going to use it to side dress 
uh, corn with nitrogen after we get the planting done. Uh, probably, hopefully, two, three leaf corn. But uh, what we have here is a 30 foot stacker bar that we're putting the planter row units on. So that's why um, we got to tear off the old stuff and put on the new. Basically, this cart has a three point hitch back here that the toolbar attaches to. And uh, as I said, we'll be putting our roll units on that, moving everything over, and this is going to be a 30 foot stacker planter toolbar. And uh, we'll be planting and fertilizing at the same time. So I'll maybe figure out a bit more specs on this outfit, but I'm uh, pretty excited about having this around. Uh, there's lots of options for it. We got a scale kit on it so we can see how much fertilizer we have and we can get calibrated to run everything. We're doing an ISO bus control uh, using Raven uh, to my egg leader. So uh, we run an egg leader 1200 in command. Uh, pretty exciting. So I got this from Delta Power and Equipment. A young gentleman that used to work for me works there now and uh, I bought this off him. And uh, as I said, picked it up today. We're going to finish ripping some stuff off the other planter and then get this in the shop. And maybe I'll give you a closer look uh, where it's a little warmer. But uh, that's what we're going to do. I uh, debated about uh, actually selling the planter because uh, I thought it was going to be a lot of work. And some of these row units are a little old. They're not the cast iron or the cast row units. They're... Uh, the metal one so you know it would have been nice to do some cast uh, row units a little heavier built uh, ones but uh, these are the maxi merge plus I looked at Harvest International ones uh, price wise they're I think about three thousand dollars a unit maybe not quite I could be wrong but uh, just felt that I wouldn't get the value of this planter that I put into it um, for how much we did. So I debated about tearing off all the precision ag stuff or the precision planting stuff. But uh, I'd still have to figure out a drive well, a thing to drive the planters. I may have to leave my V sets with it and I have to get new V sets. And then I would have to put down pressure springs back on because we, as you can see, we took off the down pressure springs. So not sure about that. Um, anyways, just uh, figured it was probably a simpler and quicker process to take the old ones off and put them on the new toolbar. So um, as I said, we're gonna try to do some work on upgrading them a little bit, trying to put some bushings in and make sure they're good, but uh, you know, perfect world. I would have put all new row units in the other one, tried to sell this planter and, and done it, but uh, I'm not sure someone would give me seventy two or seventy six thousand dollars Canadian for this planter. Uh, all tricked out the way it is. Um, I figured I'd be lucky to get my precision egg money out of it or the precision planting money out of it. And I figured that was too much of a loss for me. So here we are uh, switching everything over. done this afternoon as you can see we got some of the hydraulic cylinders off trying to keep everything together with the row unit we actually got one off just to see how hard it was going to be we got it sitting over here kind of using the row cleaner and the 
gauge wheels to hold it up. But we got some work to do on the arms. They're little kind of oblong. So I got new bushings, but we'll see what, what happens if that's enough to fix it. But as I said, we got one off. Took off a whole bunch of hardware, leaving what we can on the row unit and pulling the back. So got a lot of the cylinders off, got some more work to do. We actually tried to stop as much oil from spilling from the, the hydraulic line. So we actually uh, just looped them around to keep track of them and also stop the oil from dripping all over the place. And uh, got a few more to do, gonna work on it tomorrow. We actually made uh, pretty good headway today. I'm pretty impressed. We got more done than I thought. I was dreading the hydraulic lines and taking them all apart, but uh, doing that trick with uh, looping them around really stopped the oil from being a mess and we're able to take them off and, and do some work with the row units. So we'll probably uh, tear these arms off here in the bottom one and then uh, just put this on its own on the toolbar on the LRE cart and that way we don't have to manhandle and try to line up everything with a whole bunch of weight and then uh, we'll get the row units put back on the arms and I'll do some investigating tonight I think about uh, what new arms might cost uh, to fix up that area there whether I can buy some aftermarket bushings but so far feeling pretty good about it and uh, We'll see uh, see what tomorrow brings.